Hello everyone, Ivy here. How's everybody doing? Um, welcome to any new subscribers that I have. This is what I look like. You see me every now and then. If you're a subscriber all along, welcome back. Thank you for staying with me. Um, I would like to just show you some stuff that I have done, that I've gotten in Happy Mail, and um, a VIP um, stitch thing that contacted me and asked me if I would do it. And I noticed that there's other content creators that's doing the same thing, so I probably will not do another one just so that everybody else can do it. I kind of like to do my own thing. All right, so I'm going to start with that first. So the VIP DIY cross stitch, I picked out two patterns, and anybody that knows me, I'm a big row tie fan. So I thought this one be would be appropriate for me to do. I haven't done cross stitch in a long time. It's the elephant, and I think that's going to be beautiful. But look at all the detail in that. So I will link theirs below. Put their link below. But for today's video, any of the comments, I am going to be giving this one away. I have not opened it yet, but I thought it was cute for a giveaway. So here's this one. And look at those cute little girls. Yeah. So, yeah, leave a comment on anything about the video, what you liked, what you didn't like. Hey, whatever. So, ain't that just gorgeous? Okay, so those two that I got for the VIP, and I, like I said, I will link them below. And I probably will not be doing it again because there is so many content creators that doing this okay all right so let's get into happy mail everybody loves happy mail right so here we go the first happy mail that I got from my dear beautiful cousin I call her my cousin because we are so much alike and uh, believe we are related somewhere down the line it's just too much of a coincidence that we have in common that we're not related. So, this is from um, Aaron Dawn, Dawn Aaron. I'll get it right here in a minute. I have to look it up. Anyway, so she made me my own little gnome. And let me see if I can block it. Uh, Maybe the light. There you go. Those are little ivy leaves that she handmade with polymer clay. It's got little ribbons on it. It's got a little bee right there. And I apologize. I'm trying. There you go. And it's just so adorable. And at the top up here, that is a little tiny flower. It is adorable. It's all mine. And I love her. She's little Ivy is what I'm going to call her. And it came in a nice little package like this. And to keep her from getting broke, I have to keep her in the box. And then in the box, it's got love. And I just love her to death. She's a sweetheart. So if you haven't checked her out, I will also link her below. I call her Dawn, but uh, Dawn's, uh, where is she? I should have done my homework, shouldn't I? I shouldn't have done it. Anyway, I'm going to put that right there. So go check her out. I'm going to leave the link and you go check her out. She needs some followers too. Give her a thumbs up, view her playlist, and like her, okay? So my next um, was in Melissa Crochets with Love's Life, and I don't remember exactly which night it was, but um, Miss Amy, Amy Marie Crochets, she won a uh, giveaway, and 
She said, give it to me since I was on a yarn band. I was on a long yarn band. But here we go. I opened it up just a few minutes ago so that I can pull it out to see what's in here. So here's everything in there. And I'm going to start pulling it out. Wow, Melissa, you put a lot of stuff in there. Goodness gracious. What did you put in there? Holy moly. There's just more and more. Okay. So, let me check. No, no more in there. Sorry about my phone. Always happens. So, let's read the card first. I'll put on my old lady glasses. It says, love you, my sweet friend. Ivy, hello, my beautiful, sweet, talented, amazing friend. Congrats on your winnings that Amy forwarded on to you. Love how kind our peeps are. Melissa. Ain't that sweet? Thank you, Amy, and thank you, Melissa. So, I got one of these little box and let me tell you I have a ton of these and I really love them they fall on the floor they don't pop open or anything like that this is break the rules and that is me for sure I may set rules but I also break them it is a lined journal where I can keep my little notes in of course I can't get anything straight so I got that, and this is just blank pages so that you could draw your grass out. Lord, I need that because I do that quite a bit. And this one is, I taught myself to crochet. Maybe I need to take a look at this. Mm -hmm. So it's a book that's got all kinds of projects on it. There's beautiful patterns on there that somebody could recreate. I like that top right there. Yeah. So there's a lot of, a lot of, oops, didn't mean to flip through that fast. A lot of pages, pictures. Yeah. So that'd be great if somebody needed to uh, learn how to crochet at a, uh, Case where it does show you how to do it. I don't really need to show you, but it can show you how to hold your hand as a knife grip or a pencil grip, how to do a single crochet, put on the knots, double crochet. There's a lot of stitches in here that I think this is a beautiful book. Thank you, thank you. Now I got the yarn. It's called Festive Mix fiber and it's already open so I'm sure she pulled it out to check to see what it feels like um it says polyester acrylic 50 grams made in Turkey Fiesta mix fiber um, not much information on it to me it's a little rough and I think it's probably a two weight probably a two weight that's what the color looks like kind of Americana really red white and blue see there's one two three four five there's ten of them so I will list both them girls down at the bottom because they're both great talented people I love them both all right so <clears throat> now I, excuse, I'm sorry now I'm going to get into my whips that I have done I want to show you that I am still doing my washcloths every single day no I haven't put in my I haven't sewed in my ends on most of them some of them I have 
this is January, February, and part of March, and I think I'm like three days behind on these. So, they are, I have just started throwing them in there. I was bundling them up and making them look really cute, and then I just got to the point like, really? I'm sick of washcloths. But, I will finish my 365 challenge to myself, and there is all of them so far. So, I'm still doing that. My next finished object is this pillow. Now, this pillow, I was looking for a 3D butterfly is what I was looking for. And I came across the bow tie stitch and I thought, that really looks like butterflies, and this is kind of exactly what I'm looking for. This pillow came with, you know, a comforter. You know, you get those little bed pillows, little square bed pillows. And I decided that I wanted to do it in the um, bright pastel colors. And this is what I came up with. No, there is no pattern for it. All it is, is if you look up the bow tie stitch, and I'll link that down below where I learned this stitch from, and I did the single rows each time all the way across. I thought that looked cute. On the back is just a simple double crochet, and on the ends here, I did a sh the large shell stitch. And I did that all the way around. So that's easy pattern that anybody could do. Just like I said, I'll link it below the bow tie stitch. So that's one. So my next one is going to be, I showed this. If you've seen my... Um, or what do they call them? <laughs> shorts. If you've seen my shorts, I've been posting a lot of stuff on my shorts and haven't been really doing any videos. So I decided I'm going to jump on here and show you some of my stuff of my shorts that I've been doing. So this one is a, in the short, I showed a picture of a material top. And I thought that I could recreate that into something crocheted. And that's exactly what I did. And I will show a picture here shortly and let you see that. And I did it. And I am creating a tutorial. I've started a tutorial. I've got it all the way up to the shoulders. And I will finish this too. So look out for that and then I have one more finished object and I am going to show what I'm wearing right now this is a finished this was from MJ off the hook and it was the waffle stitch sweater well it was a cardigan I'm sorry it was a cardigan but I didn't have enough as you can see right across there this is two different colors so I ripped it all out and then just did a sweater out of it. I'm very pleased with it. I think it's awesome looking. So yeah, I hope you like this. It's beautiful, I think. Yeah, it's an oversize. It goes over across your, across your bum, you know. So there you go. So. Now I'm going to put on my other one and show you what it looks like. I will be right back. Okay. Here is my M-I-U, M-I-U, and I'm going to call it Moi Moi top that, uh, sweater that I've done. And again, I saw a picture and I said I can do that. But I did chase, to, chase down to see if there was a pattern because I wanted to do it. Of course, there was no pattern, so I created it from just looks. You have your uh, granny square stitches. You have your Jacob's ladder. 
and you have your double crochets. The back is all double crochet and you double crochet down the sleeves. Very simple. And I started this back in um, October, I think it was, around there. Why does it, I know the camera makes it look like it's off work that I'm trying to do. Okay, so I started this back in October and I finished it in November, December, somewhere in there, the end of De November, beginning of December. And I was intimidated by putting this long zipper in. I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because, like I said, I was intimidated by the sweater, by the, the, um, by the zipper. And I got a string there that needs to be tucked in. Sorry. So, um, yeah, I was intimidated by it. So one day I decided I'm going to tackle it. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, guys. It was fairly simple. Don't do it on a sewing machine. I broke a needle, bent a needle, and I didn't have any more needles. So I was forced to sew it by hand. But all in all, I'm very happy with this. No, I won't do a tutorial on this, but I will be doing a tutorial on how to do the Jacob's Ladder and how you can turn this into your own. This is for fur yarn guys so yeah and I will also put a picture of this in there so you can see so I rattled on for a good while now I hope you enjoyed it be inspired by some of the stuff and hey if you're inspired by anything I do hey go ahead and say inspired by Ivy B creates so have a good day all I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later thank you